I'd start my first vlog off with my current competition prep and also just as a brief overview of my current training structure. So at the moment I'm 16 weeks out from a show which I'm doing on September the 11th and that's going to be in Adelaide. It's an INBA show and I'll be competing in the fitness category. Things are getting pretty exciting. I actually started my prep at about 20 weeks out. Um, I've done this because um, I just like to give myself that little extra time. Uh, I find that often with prepping for shows, progress in terms of fat loss isn't always linear. So I like to give myself that little bit of extra time and not rush the process. I'm actually really happy with the changes I've seen so far and I'm looking forward to seeing what the next 16 weeks brings. It's actually probably been about three years since I stepped on the INBA stage. So this time around, obviously I'll be getting up there with a little bit more muscle mass considering I've had an extra three years training experience. Um, also, I should be coming a little bit leaner and a lot more confident, that's for sure. So now to touch on my training structure. So with my training, I like to focus on progressive overload. And this means gradually increasing the volume and making my body work harder over time. I generally do this in four week blocks. Um, in a training week, I work across a number of repetition ranges, uh, hypertrophy, strength and power. My training is very much focused around the three big lifts being the squat, bench press and deadlift. I'm a powerlifter at heart so this is how I like to train so hence why I train like this. Um, I also add in accessory work and accessory work for me is to bring up areas of weakness. So personally at the moment I am doing extra quad work, glute work, delt work and that's all isolated stuff. As a fitness bikini competitor, it just makes sense to have more size and be more defined in these areas. So I really like to focus on getting stronger. I find this to be my number one motivating factor. I really feel that it makes my training more purposeful, um, moving away from the whole mind-numbing, bodybuilding style split. Training like this makes me excited to go to the gym every day. Like I literally jump out of bed because I'm excited to go to the gym, challenge myself and set new PRs. It's just the whole mindset change, like stepping away from the whole concept of just training to lose body fat or because you ate a little bit too much or because you just don't like the way your body looks. For me, this takes away from being too overly focused with body image, feeling less negativity towards myself. And it's about moving away from the negative thought process you take and onto a more positive one. I'm not worried about my body looks like. I'm excited to build strength. The last time I actually competed, I didn't actually even plan to compete. I was prepping for a powerlifting show and this bodybuilding show come up a week later and this is just something I've decided to do on the side. And so the whole prep, I was preparing for a powerlifting meet, which I was entirely focused on just becoming the strongest person I could become. And I had zero negative body image issues towards myself. Yes, we compete because we want to improve our bodies and we want to look better, but we're also more than a body. We need to look past our appearance sometimes and, and focus on what we're capable of, look, what we've got within us. It's important to make comp prep also about the journey and more about the process it takes to get to that end result. Because in the end, if you don't, then what's the point? Comp prep should be enjoyable, it should be sustainable and it should be an overall very happy and healthy process. By all means, I'm not saying that competition prep is easy. If it was, everyone would do it. It's hard, it's challenging, and you know, some days you're gonna feel tired and drained, but that's reality. And that's the struggle that happens when you exceed personal limits. So I hope you find this vlog informative, and I look forward to keeping everyone updated with how my prep goes. I hope everyone has a lovely week, and happy lifting.